Hi students, welcome in chemistry classes. I am Priyanka Jain and you are watching the videos of thermodynamics. Okay. In our last lecture, we have studied about the heat capacity and we have seen the simplest type of the relationship between Cp and Cv. Now we are seeing some advanced level relationship between Cp and Cv that will be beneficial for you for the CSI net exam. Okay. Several type of relations you will see in the books and sometimes you can do that yourself also. Okay. So I am giving you one and two examples so that you can understand how to direct how to derive this type of the formulas okay so see here relationship between the cp and cv first of all for deriving this what you will have to need see here h is equal to u plus pv enthalpy is given by this formula okay i think you all know i have not told you about the enthalpy in our next lecture we will see about the enthalpy also but for here you should understand that h is equal to u plus pv and it is a perfect differential so it can be written as dh is equal to du plus pdv plus vdv okay now see here we know that we can consider u as a function of temperature and volume okay u is a perfect differential so we can consider it as a function of two of the derivatives okay so we can write it du is equal to del u upon del v at constant temperature dv plus del u upon del t at constant v dt right similarly h can be written as a function of temperature and pressure okay and we can do for this also same way dh is equal to del h upon del p at constant t dp plus del h upon del t at constant p dt okay now put these two values in this equation consider this is equation number one and we have to put these values here okay so when we are substituting the values what we are getting del h upon del t at constant pressure dt plus del h upon del p at constant t dp is equal to del u upon del t at constant v dt plus del u upon del v at constant t dv plus pdv plus vdp all right now see here we can take this terms at constant pressure we are applying the condition of constant pressure and divide this equation by dt at constant pressure we are dividing by dt so what we are getting see here this term dt upon dt here we get dt upon dt so this will be equal to del h upon del t at constant pressure okay this term is given dp in this term we have given dp so at constant pressure dp will be equal to 0 so this term will be equal to 0 okay so now see the next term del u upon del t at constant v okay dt divided by dt will be equal to 1 plus see here del u upon del v at constant temperature and then dv this is divided by dt so we are getting del v upon del t at constant pressure now the d has been substituted by del because we have put here the constant p term okay plus p del v upon del t at constant pressure now see here here is dp so this term will be equal to zero okay now what you have to do see here this del h upon del t by p is equal to cp okay and here del u upon del t at constant v will be equal to cv so put here cv plus c here del v upon del t at constant p del v upon del t at constant p this is common so we can take this term common del v upon del t at constant p okay i am giving you all the things from the very basic levels i am giving you the basics of the math okay so this you will not get in any of the video so if you are from the bio background these videos will be very very beneficial for you okay now this comes here and p comes here 
Okay, so we are getting this term. Now, one thing you should remember. We know in our previous lectures, we have studied that del u upon del v at constant temperature is equal to pi t. That is called the in internal pressure. And from the first equation of state, we know this is equal to del p t, del p upon del t at constant v minus p. If we replace this p on this side, what we are getting? We are getting pi t plus p is equal to t del p upon del t at constant v. Okay. It means we can write del u upon del v at constant t plus p is equal to t del p upon del t at constant v. So, we can replace this value. This term can be replaced by this term. Okay. So, what we are getting? We are getting Cp. Take this in the, on the side. Okay. Cp minus Cv will be equal to del u del v upon del t at constant p and see here this term is t del p upon del t at constant v or we can write cp minus cv is equal to t del p upon del t at constant v del v upon del t at constant pressure this is one of the very important relationship between Cp and Cv. Okay. Now see the next type of the relationship. Cp minus Cv in terms of alpha, beta and gamma. Okay. Now see Cp minus Cv in terms of alpha, beta and gamma. We know we can write volume as a function of pressure and temperature. Okay. So it is a perfect differential. So dV will be equal to del V upon del P at constant temperature dP plus del V upon del T at constant pressure dT. We can write like this. Now, at constant volume. Constant volume means dV is equal to 0. If dV is equal to 0, then we can write U will be equal to del V upon del P at constant T dP plus del V upon del T at constant P dT. Okay. Now, take this term on the side. This term we are putting here in the side. Okay. So, what you are getting? You are getting del V upon del P at constant temperature dP is equal to minus del V upon del T at constant P dT. Okay. Divide by dt. When we are dividing by dt, what we are getting? We are getting del v upon del p at constant t and del p upon del t at constant v because volume is constant. Okay. So this will be equal to del v upon del t at constant pressure. This is pressure. Okay. But we know, we know one thing. What Cp minus Cv we have derived earlier is equal to T del P upon del T at constant V del V upon del T at constant pressure. Okay. So, Cp minus Cv will be equal to C here. We have to just put the value. Okay. We have to put here the value. So, by substituting the value of this del P upon del T at constant V. Okay. We can put this value. What we are getting? Minus T del V upon del T whole square at constant P divided by del V upon del P at constant temperature. Okay. Now what you have to do? You have to multiply numerator and denominator by the 1 upon 
B square. Okay. So what you will get? You will get CP minus CV is equal to minus T one upon V square del V upon del T whole square at constant pressure divided by one upon V square del V upon del P at constant temperature. Okay. See here. We know that alpha is equal to 1 upon V del V upon del T at constant pressure. So we can write alpha square will be equal to 1 upon V square del V upon del T whole square at constant pressure. Similarly, we know beta is equal to minus 1 upon V del V upon del P at constant T. So we have to push just here the values. So what we are getting Cp minus Cv is equal to minus T alpha square. For this term we can write alpha square. Okay. Similarly put here one of the V and for del V upon del P at constant T and one upon V. We can write here minus beta. So minus beta divide by V. So what you are getting Cp minus Cv is equal to alpha square Vt upon beta. Okay, this is one of the very important relationship between Cp minus Cv and alpha beta terms. Okay, so these terms you does not need to remember. Just you have to derive them. Okay, you should need how to derive these. Okay, so several such type of derivation we will do in our next lectures also. So do these derivations with us. One by one in videos we will see the questions and the derivations. Okay. So we will start from the basic and doing all the things in the advanced level. So if you are liking my videos, please share these videos, please subscribe the channel and please comment me. Thank you.